recording. Hey, welcome back to Say Hi to the Vibe. You're here with Auntie Vice. And today, we're really lucky we have Gigi. She's a young trans woman in her early 20s. And we're going to talk about a little bit about finding the right toys. So, Gigi, what have you been looking for in a sex toy? Uh, really, for me, it's what I've been looking for is like, not like a replication of uh, mm -hmm. more like uh I, I i guess the best way to put it is just like uh stuff that vibrates pretty much uh or like uh i don't know i don't know how you would describe that or how that falls under like sensation wise but i would say like uh like uh, the vibe like something where i like, like kind of yeah it kind of helps you know and have you had much experience with toys in the past so kind of a funny thing is uh I never up until I never up until recently ever had like any form of sex toy whatsoever. Uh it was not be not from lack of interest. It was probably just like, hey, I like wouldn't cross my mind 24-7 or uh, yeah, price wise is another one. But uh, Yeah, they know. can be kind mm -hmm. of expensive. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's why and like for me, you know, because I work at a, a uh, I work like a uh, bare minimum job. It's not like it's one of the, it's not a necessity. So it's not something I'm just going to be rushing out to grab like a new one of. So mm -hmm. when you uh, got, got me uh, the one toy, I was like, you know, thrilled. I was like, awesome. <laughs> so if you're looking for vibrations, um, do you like intense, less intense type of sensation when you're, when you're masturbating and playing with people? Uh, for me personally, I would say intense. I like uh, when I like really, really like, like really just like full, full power, full throttle, that kind of, that kind of thing. And uh, what this is this is marked for a, an eighteen or older channel, so you can be explicit. Fair um, enough. Fair. What what body parts are you looking to most stimulate with a vibration toy? I uh, I think for me per I mean the obvious one would be like genitalia for me mm -hmm. like uh, you know the penis something like that uh, but another one is because you mentioned that I am a, a trans girl I've been on uh, I'm actually approaching I think four months now on HRT Excellent. and and uh, one of the things that it causes is it makes like your uh, like nipples like really really like sensitive. Mm -hmm. and uh like i remember when it first happened it was just like kind of you're not used to it and i was just yeah. i was just like hey i hope so i had to like talk to friends i'm like this is okay or they're like no no no, that's all a okay i'm like perfect all i need to know so sometimes what i'll do is i'll take like a the vibrator and just like put it on there maybe while like a mm -hmm. mas masturbating or something and that mm -hmm. really is incredible <laughs> Great. So I think we're going to go with the, the Fliver wand. It's mm -hmm. a rechargeable wand. You don't have to plug it into the wall, but it has for, uh, for a battery powered wand, it has a pretty, pretty intense sensation on the higher end. Um, okay. And it's, it's fairly affordable. Uh, this one is through bestvibe.com. So okay. we're going to get you that and then come back and see how it went. Yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> take a break and then so you got to try, try the wand what did you think uh the wand was great like it really is what i'm looking for like really ideal because i remember when i first uh got it i was like trying to you know figure out how to use it it's very basic you know one button easy to charge that kind of thing and uh it's one of those things where you don't have to be like charging it 24 7 I know for, I would keep it like next to my bed and mm -hmm. I would just forget about it. And let's say maybe I have a, you know, friend of sorts over <laughs> and, uh, you know, you just casually remember, cause that, that is something that happened to me. I had a friend of mine over and they asked me, they're, they're like, Hey, do you have any like toys whatsoever? And normally I would, you know, say like, Oh no. But then I like, it like light bulb. I was like, yes, I do actually. And so we did that, and that just kind of added to the fun, the the pleasure. And and it does work for the nipples as well. 
definitely definitely like i said i i really go like i like to go like pretty intense with it Mm -hmm. that's just me though so i will so what i'll <laughs> what i'll do is just like uh well i build up to it you know mm -hmm. because it has it really is just that that sensation is just wow wow like it's <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty incredible i remember like when i first got it i thought it only had like the one setting mm-hmm and mm -hmm. that was not even an issue like that wasn't even an issue for me i was like i was like you know the fact that i had anything i was grateful but when uh i'm like like just messing around with it to see like how it, mm -hmm. like all it works and everything uh i realized that you can make it more intense and i was just like like i struck gold almost just it was <laughs> like really 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 helpful and so I just like would do that plus, you know, uh, different rhythms, different, like it really it, just like anything you want, like really just, you can go crazy experiment, you name it, like really, really good. I am so glad that worked for you. We're going to have you back to talk about a different toy on another episode, but thank you so much for coming on. Uh, absolutely. Anytime. Break. And then we'll do the one on the the Tagus Stroker next. Um, and have you tried that one with Lube? No, no. Like I said, um, I, I'm very basic when it comes to yeah. like I don't like I do consider myself to be like kind of like kinky and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And so, like you know, I have like the fantasies. Of, I like I'll have fantasies, you know, being like tied up or something, like just you know, mm -hmm. treated like like less than human, you know. Like I really can, yeah. but like when it comes to that kind of like toys and stuff, I just I really don't have much that I can use to experiment with. Mm -hmm. Like I, I mean, up until like yeah. these, I so I don't even have like lube, for example. So the tango will work better with lube. I have a whole. So I work with um, Lube Life is the the line, and they oh, do okay. flavored lubes, flavored lubes, and I, have I a do ton, know. So I, I know they have flavored lubes. I've always heard that. I know that like the amount you can do, do with it. <laughs> so right now I have uh, cotton candy, mint chocolate chip, uh, mojito, uh, sex on the beach. <laughs> My time. <laughs> I think doesn't, tequila sunrise. Doesn't that one seem a little on the nose? Of all <laughs> it the, was real of all, on the nose. Of, of all the, like, don't get me wrong. I get, you know, cocktail theme. That, yeah. that genuinely makes sense. And I know it's a popular cocktail. <laughs> it's well, just. Oh, but no, it was real there. Uh, do you have a specific flavor you would like to try? Uh, you mentioned, uh, what were the first two? Cotton candy was one of them, uh, but there was a... Cotton candy and mint chocolate chip, which really does taste like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I mean, I, I would probably, I guess one of the, I guess more like candy. So I'd say like mint chocolate chip, cotton candy would be my, my two, uh, go-to okay. ones. So I will, next time I see you, I will bring mm -hmm. one and then we'll do the episode. Cause I think once you try it with a loop, I'll give yeah. you that. And then I'll give you, um, just a plain get one from another company um i have a couple that i really like um so i think i have some wicked here um and i'll bring those down and you can give those a try and then we'll record another episode because i think you'll find a significant difference once you try the stroker with the lube mm -hmm. um because it it makes it all slick and fun and and all of that and then you can tell me if the if the the, the lubes work for other things too and um they ship me like five new flavors every quarter. So if I get another candy one, I'll bring one. Let me know. Let me know. Cause I would be very yeah. interested in it. Uh, just while I, you mention it. Um, mm -hmm. Because the reason I hadn't been able to attend like a, but um, I think most of the meetings for Transcheduled is really because I was taking that like online class. And that's mm -hmm. what I would always mention. And like, it's just one of those things where like your hands are tied. If you miss one, they yeah. will that like you just cannot the only times i could come in is if it was like a holiday so like the cat class mm -hmm. didn't have one but uh yesterday right. was yesterday was when I, uh yesterday was my last class so my schedule is actually free once again so i can oh good pretty much meet on well i guess really any evening but uh monday mm -hmm. specifically will be free again excellent yeah no and i'll be 
I'm and, out and, towards you. I'm doing the show in Marysville at the end of February. Oh, um, really? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, depending on where you're at, it's on a Saturday. Um, I may come out early and drop it off if I'm out your direct, because that's not too far from you. No, no, not at all. Not, yeah, yeah, no, that's really not too, that's not too, uh, like, much of a drive. Yeah, yeah. So if I don't see you before then for transcheduled stuff, um, mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll come out. And are you doing any shows in SAC in the next month or two? Uh, I don't know if I'm, I don't, I don't think I'm doing any this month. I know uh, on, on February, because I was, mess I messaged Heather, I said, I said, by the way, uh, you know, I'm done with my class, like I'm feeling better. Uh, I'd love mm -hmm. to do shows again in SAC if, but uh, February okay. would be, I think, what I'm doing. Okay. And since the nipples have gotten more sensitive, I just got the, it's a really pretty set of tweezer clamps, but it's joined by little fake pearls. Ooh. So yeah, I'll, I'll bring those in some lube next time I see you and we can, <laughs> we can keep narrowing it in. Um, yeah, and as you discover what you like, let me know, because like the, I did the first episode with my friend Del, um, who's a uh -huh. trans man, and um, he was looking for a stroker, but you know, even on T, his clit is only like an inch long. So most strokers are. Right. Oh, are, yeah. Yeah. But they do make one specifically for trans men. And I was able to get one of the companies I work with to send it um, mm -hmm. for him to give a try. So as you figure out kind of, oh, I'd like to try this or that, let me know. And if I don't have something already, I can generally get a company to send me something. Damn. I uh, very much would be interested in that. Yeah. That's that's yeah. that's a great deal. I remember because uh, I was telling, I think I told like a couple, uh, I told like a couple people that I was doing mm -hmm. this because I was saying how I know you, of course, from mm -hmm. comedy, and I then like immediately prefaced, so I, was, I was like, now you'd naturally think this is a comedy themed one, you'd be wrong, and I I had this jo I was joking with them I. I said uh, they asked me if I wanted to like show video or not show video, mm -hmm. and and in my head I was I was like, at this stage in my life I don't really care. I have nothing to hide really. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean you know I'm on. I know what the theme is. You, you gotta yeah. really. I I mean I understand those who wouldn't, but I just for me personally yeah. I was like that's no issue whatsoever. That's a okay with me. Yeah, Dell opted to blur just because he's a therapist and he didn't want clients recognizing him. That, which I that, totally that makes understand. sense. That makes sense. Like I said, I work at a pizza, like a pizza place yeah. in Chico, so it's. And I'm not even really working in the front. I'm in the back, so right. yeah, it doesn't deal exactly. So I was just like, yeah, sure. So uh, speaking of having things to lose and nothing to lose my sister started dating again and mm -hmm. she's 47 uh -huh. and um so she's very capricorn and put together an executive committee to vet the men that she was considering dating before going on dates <laughs> which i told her is, is peak capricorn energy um and i'm on the executive committee so we'll be texting <laughs> back and forth and it's me and then her two best friends one who's uh, Mexican immigrant, lesbian, and a uh, principal at a uh, grade school in the Bay, and then her other best friends that she's had since high school, who's a um, uh, German woman um, who's 50 and in San Francisco and works for Genentech, yeah. and the thread is hilarious. Like, mm -hmm. you get a bunch of old women bitching about guys online, and it's fucking hysterical and i was talking to diana hong and she's like you need to turn this into a podcast so i told her who was on it she's like oh i understand those people have something to lose you don't i said yeah that's why all the white guys have podcasts you got nothing to lose that's pretty why much no, pretty much that's exact I remember mm -hmm. one there was uh there was something i heard a while ago that uh, I, I thought it was hilarious someone said uh Someone said, dude, let's start a podcast. Is this generation's dude, let's start a band? It is. It and is. Oh my God, there's so I, many. I heard that and I'm like, yeah, kind, kind. <laughs> But I'm excited to, like I said, I'm excited to be on this. And um, yeah, this is I am exciting. I think it'll get a good amount of traction. And with the groups I work with, what I'm hoping is, um, I can get it picked up and, with a full sponsorship so then I can pay people to come on or get real high-end sex toys. Because, like, 
a lot of them that I like are two or three hundred dollars. Um, yeah, which is yeah. a well, they, chunk they, of money. They get so they get so pricey. Oh my god, the new like the Symbian, the right atop one is seventeen hundred dollars. Thank goodness. Yeah. No, it's but um yeah, I'm hoping to be able to get people real specifically what they want and uh it's just fun like bringing happiness to others. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Excellent. So what are you up to for the rest of your day? Um I think I was going to hang out with the friends